Drop down dew from above you heavens, and let the clouds rain down the just one. Let the earth be opened and bring forth a savior. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. My brothers and sisters, I'm so delighted that you're here on this feast of Our Lady of Loretto as we welcome our new auxiliary bishop, Bishop-elect Joseph Williams, who was named at five o'clock this morning as our new auxiliary. We're so grateful to the Holy Father and so grateful to Bishop-elect Williams for his generous response to the Lord's call. Delighted to have representatives of the large Williams family with us this day. Would you join me, brothers and sisters, in showing our warm welcome to Bishop-elect Williams. You were the very first to see him with a pectoral cross and a zucchero. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who fulfilling the promise made to our fathers, chose the Blessed Virgin Mary to become the mother of the Savior, Grant that we may follow her example, for her humility was pleasing to you, and her obedience profitable to us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I, the Lord, your God, teach you what is for your good and lead you on the way you should go. If you would hearken to my commandments, your prosperity would be like a river and your vindication like the waves of the sea. Your descendants would be like the sand, and those born of your stock like its grains, their name never cut off or blotted out from my presence. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Those, those who, who follow, follow you, Lord, Lord will, will have, have the light, the light of life. life. Blessed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those, Those who, follow who follow you, Lord, Lord will have the light of life. life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those, Those who, who follow, follow you, Lord, Lord will have, have the light, light of life. life. Lord, 
Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, To what shall I compare this generation? It is like children who sit in marketplaces and call to one another. We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they said, He is possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they said, Look, he is glutton and drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by her works. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We can hear the frustration in Jesus' voice as he talks about the current generation, or what was that generation in the Holy Land at the time of Jesus. To what shall I compare this generation? It is like children who sit in the marketplaces and call to one another. We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not mourn. It's that disappointment that comes from having a generation that doesn't respond to the graces that are given to them, to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. And we certainly pray that we would never fall into that trap. But in the midst of that generation, we have one beautiful exception, and that's uh, certainly a very strong exception, and that's Our Lady, Jesus' mother, who who indeed was completely committed to responding to the Lord's call. We think this morning, for example, of the Annunciation, where Mary said, do it unto me, O Lord, however it is that you want me to serve, know that that's my will, that's her fiat. I wonder if she wasn't thinking about those words from the prophet Isaiah, that we heard in our first reading today. I, the Lord your God, teach you what is for your good and lead you on the way you should go. If you would hearken to my commandments, your prosperity would be like a river. It's this beautiful assurance that God gave to his people through the prophet Isaiah that that could have been ringing in Mary's ears on that day of the Annunciation. Today, at Pope Francis' uh, insistence, we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of Loretto. And it's a, a beautiful feast that um, reminds us of a shrine in Italy in the town of Loretto that's built around what's purported to be the, the house of Mary and Joseph and Jesus uh, from Nazareth. Tradition said it was in that same house that Mary had grown up, and it could have been right there that Mary said, yes, be it done unto me. It's an incredible place of pilgrimage. And and today is ending just as we ended earlier this week, a year of St. Joseph. The Holy Father and the the Church are ending also a a year of of Our Lady of Loretto today. But it's a a beautiful shrine that, that speaks to the normality of life, to everyday life. As you're in that little house in the middle of this beautiful church, you can, you can imagine Mary with her broom. You can imagine Mary uh, cooking for the Holy Family. You can imagine Mary teaching Jesus his prayers. It's a place that celebrates Our Lady's presence in everyday life, but it's also a place that encourages us Uh, to recognize that indeed God gives us grace in the midst of everyday lives. We're so delighted, as I mentioned earlier, that the Williams family is here in good number. We celebrate today the fact that their son, Bishop-elect Joseph, 
has had the grace to be able to say yes to the Lord's call. Just as, as Mary and that holy family would have prepared Jesus in that home in Nazareth, I've been to the Williams home and I know that it's a graced place that enables their, that enabled really all of their children in this, that large family to be able to say yes to the Lord. This day, in a very particular way, we commend uh, Bishop Joseph's uh, ministry to uh, the maternal care of Our Lady under the title Our Lady of Loretto. We ask that she might always uh, draw Bishop-elect Williams uh, to the heart, the priestly heart of her son. We ask that indeed she might bless this archdiocese as we begin this new chapter in our history. Trusting that we have a God who loves us and hears our prayers, and with readiness to welcome Christ, who comes each day by his grace, let us now present our needs to our Father. For Pope Francis and Archbishop Hepta, may they always remain hopeful as they lead us in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Bishop-elect Joseph Williams, may God guide and bless him in the days ahead as he prepares to assume his new ministry as successors to the apostles, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our greater willingness to exercise patience during this Advent season, may we wait in joyful expectation for the coming of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all parish catechists summoned to announce the word of God, may they be its witnesses teaching with courage and creativity let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for an end to religious persecution, may we work to eliminate the persecution of all people who are unable to practice their Christian faith freely. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the elderly, homeless, and the unborn, may the coming Messiah enlighten us to bring hope to all those whom the world too often overlooks. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our beloved dead, and may they be ushered into eternal banquet in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And trusting these and all our private intentions to Our Lady of Loretto, we graciously ask for her intercession as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Loving God, we ask you to hear all of the petitions we bring before you this day. Grant those that are in accord with your will, so that we might be strengthened for your service. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, these offerings, and by your power change them into the sacrament of salvation, 
in which fulfilling the sacrifices of the fathers is offered the true lamb, Jesus Christ, your son, born of the ever Virgin Mary in a way beyond all telling, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all that is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name will be called Emmanuel.
Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord our God, always show forth your mercy in us, that we who commemorate in faith the mother of your Son may be saved by his incarnation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I couldn't help but think as we celebrated this Mass that uh, this would have, some of you would have known uh, Bishop-elect uh, Joseph when he was a brand new priest. He served here at the cathedral. My understanding is that there's still a light setting that says JW on it. Huh? That's how deep are his roots in this uh, beautiful parish community. We're grateful to have the opportunity to pray for, for him and for our church this morning. The Lord be with you. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.